Hey guys, and welcome back for another quick Tuesday tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beach poncho towel. I really love this version as it's super quick and easy. It lays flat or you can slip it over their head. It's great for the beach or getting out of the bath. So if you're new to my channel, I hope you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and of course, don't forget to smash that like button as the kids like to say. Okay, so let's get started. So for this tutorial, I will be using one regular size towel and then one hand towel, so in the matching set sort of. This is the brand that I chose. I got it over at Walmart, so it's approximately 30 inches by 54 inches, and the hand towel was about 13 inches by 26 inches. So the first thing I'm going to do is take that hand towel and fold it in half. I really love this project because you're not really gonna have that many raw edges, and all the edges that you have will be all the finished edges from the towels. So it's already kind of, you know, finished off for you. So you're gonna take that and we're going to sew down one of the short sides. So from the fold, sew all the way down. I'm using a regular needle for this, and if you want to use a walking foot, you can do that. Um, it is a little bit thick, so that's why I'm not going to use a super plush towel for this tutorial. So that's why I think the cheaper towels are actually better for this project. And then we're going to take the larger towel and we'll fold that in half lengthways, making sure that all of our edges are lined up just so that we can have everything nice and centered. And then we'll find the measurement of our hood which is the hand towel and then you're just going to find the center of the towel so this is the folded edge so like i said it was about 30 inches so i put a little snip in at the 15 inch mark and that's where i'm going to cut down i'm just going to cut a slit for my hood so i'm going to actually cut down half of the measurement of that hood length. So it's 13 inches, so I'm gonna do it about six and a half inches, or maybe even seven, it just depends. The larger the hole, the larger the head. Um, so my kids are five and seven, so I did it perfectly. And this is the little hole. So we did half the measurement because our fabric was doubled up. So it is going to be a 13 inch long slit. It's just easier to do it that way, just to find the center of your fabric. Okay, so now we're gonna take our hood and we're gonna attach it, which once you attach the hood, you're pretty much done. <laughs> so you're gonna take your hood and at the seam, um, we're going to line that up with the end of one of our slits. So if your towel has a right or wrong side, just make sure that you're putting the right side of your hood to the right side of your towel. And we'll just line up that seam with the end of the slit and we will just start to pin the hood down the one side of the slit and then pin the other side of the hood down the other side of the slit. So the towel does end up being large, but I think bigger is better when it comes to this, you know? So when you do get to the end, you might have some towel that overlaps. So if your slit wasn't large enough to accommodate your whole entire hood, um, just overlap it a little bit. It's totally fine. It'll look good in the end. And then after that, we're just going to sew all the way around. Now, if you're worried about this edge, you can serge it or you can zigzag around it. I just did a regular stitch all the way around. Because it's towel, um, you can't really see the stitches and you know it's on the inside so the kids, it doesn't bother the kids. But if you're worried about finishing it off, you could use a twill tape or a bias tape or something like that just to cover up those raw edges. But it's only the slit part that has the raw edges. And if you do have a little bit of difficulty getting through your towel, you might want to up your stitch length um, a little bit just so that you don't have, well, so that the project doesn't take too long. <laughs> I put mine up to a three. So here is the towel hood. I pulled it out. This is how it is looking. 
and it's just enough for my daughter to get her head through and because there is so much excess towel that's good because she has really long hair so it'll sop up all the water now from here the towel is done so you can call it a day um, or you can get fancy and this is where I'm actually going to applique a piece of towel for their initials so I just went over to my computer and printed out a big B so that I could have a guide or you can just draw it out yourself, totally up to you. I'm going to cut it out of a cheap face cloth and then I will have a perfect B and I can put that right on my towel and we're just going to sew all the way around it and then she has her own monogram so hopefully no one will swipe it at the beach. <laughs> So with the towel, you just wanna make sure that everything is nice and pinned down because of course, there will be a lot of shifting when you're trying to get it through your machine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a zigzag stitch. So on my machine, it is a number four stitch. And then here are the settings. Um, it's about 3.5 and that is the width. We're gonna start sewing and we're gonna go right up to the edge of the B. So basically we're gonna have it so that majority of the stitch falls onto the letter. So that you don't really see the stitches on the actual colored towel. And you can make sure that it is nice and secured on there. Um, this is a very cheap face cloth, I will give you that. Um, I got it over at the dollar store, so it wasn't very good. <laughs> but it still worked in the end, a little bit of fraying going on, but it's fine. It looks super cute. She loves that there's a B on it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please share it with your friends. Of course, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on Friday for Friday's tutorial. Bye guys.